Hey yo everyone, this is a Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another walkthrough episode or should I say, say another support conversation episode for the game Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Can never find good leverage. Oh fuck it. Yeah, here's my number of battles, number of visits. <sighs> Still far away from the next reward. Either way. So now, now that the... Console versus the Lola competition is over. <sighs> Could finally have some time to go back to these walkthroughs. So I'm going to take a break as much as I can from from Pokemon Sun. Anyway, I just picked up my prize from the global mission for. No, not only got. Earning battle points in the battle town. I mean, battle tree, but. Also earned. But because I got at least three battle points, I get a heavy ball and three and five rare candies. Maybe it's not the smartest to get this close to royalty. I'm just picking up all my freebies. Anyway, I'm just a little uh, hooked on f Fire Emblem here, Heroes. Um, but I wonder, can I go through the same story again? Like in case I wanted to do a walkthrough for that game. Okay, starting with Mozu. Hey Lord Ryoma, you got a minute? I wanted to give you something. Of course, Mozu, what is it? <laughs> well, since you've been playing in so much work, work training me lately, I made you some soup. Oh really? Thank you. All the folks back home loved it, so you know it's good. Here you go, eat up. Thank you. Oh, this is very good. I'd rank it among the finest soups I've ever tasted. I'm glad you like it. Like it? I'm entranced by it. This is really a first-rate soup, Mozu. <laughs> I didn't think a fancy nobleman would have su such simple taste. Do I? Hmm. I like watching people eat my cooking. Maybe if things ever get back to normal, I might open a restaurant or something, Mozu. Oh, sorry. Was that too heavy? I didn't mean to bring you down. No, you just uh, struck a chord with me. I want to return to peace of this world as well. I think that's what we all want. The fruits of your training are starting to show. Let's keep up the good fight, hmm? I'll do everything within my power to see that your wish comes true. Gosh, I'd better step things up too then. That's the spirit. Mozu, thinking of your hometown again. Yeah, I don't want you to get the wrong impression, though. I'm not always crying. I just keep remembering it by accident. Little things keep setting me off. J like, just had. Now I saw a soldier who reminded me of one, one of the boys back home. He was so sweet. He helped us out that time my mom got sick. I'll never forget it. I see it. I'm almost jealous of you. Jealous of me? How can you say that? 
I do not suffer as you do from having lost something precious because there is no part of my past that I could recall with fondness. Huh? I was given over to the palace at, at a young age. I never saw my parents again. Given over is perhaps a euphemism as I was thro thrown away at the first opportunity. I have no good memories of my parents. They were cruel beyond measure. Nor did they live in a anything resembling a loving community. Jacob. If I hadn't met Lord Corrin, I believe my life would be would still be a perpetual torment. I'm sorry. Yes, so I, th I think you are in some ways blessed. You have good memories of your village, and no one can take that from you. You're right. I should be more grateful for the things I do have. Thank you, Jacob. I feel a little better now. I've been thinking about what you said, Silas. About how I credit my friendship with Corrin entirely to him. Right, I, I'd like to hear more about this if you don't mind explaining. The only reason Corrin and I met is because we were at the same age. Because of that, it was simply decided that we would be playmates. I didn't get along well with strangers though. I spent our first afternoon together staring into space not saying a word. And all the while, Corrin talked up a storm eager to make a friend. He must have been relieved not to be, be so isolated anymore. Looking back, I agree. He was so eager to talk to that that eventually, little by little, I opened up to him. And before I knew it, we were best friends, so I see. Today, even today, he's a close friend, despite all that's happened in the years since. I will keep Corrin safe during, his, during this war. You can count on it, I will. And of course, I will stop at nothing to protect Corrin and his allies. What we have now, Hoshidans and Dorians fighting side by side. It's thanks to him. I agree. I'm glad we had this talk. It's reassuring to know that he has such steadfast friends. Is all that is that all that was on your mind, Prince Rayoma? Our ends may be the same, we but we might come in at it by, by very different routes. However, Corn is undeniably the cord binding us all together. I couldn't agree more. Don't mind you, he can't be but the sole foundation of this union. This war must be won. I'll be relying on you to help me do that. I'll do all I can. I'll do all I can. <sighs> Saizo, are you there? I'm never far, my lord. How may I be of service to you? There's a question I would put to you. Ask away, my lord. You were raised from a young age to take the mantle of Saizo, right? Yes. Have you had second thoughts on the subject? Never. No hesitation, I see. Why do you ask? I was merely curious. If it had never crossed your mind very well, that will be all, Sai. So I'm sorry to have summoned you for so little. Yes, my lord. hi ya hi ya Ah, oh, that explains the noise. I thought for a moment that bo a boar had become ensnared. <sighs> <sighs> Still incredibly rude, I see. I found one must address a simpleton on his or her le level in order to be misunderstood. That cuts both ways, I think. Speaking of cuts, if you're out training again, I see you're out training again. Of course, I always uh, have been. <clears throat> of course, I always have to be pushing myself, or I'll never improve. You do this for Princess Sakura. Yes, I must be str strong, as strong as possible if I hope to properly protect Sakura. That's amusing that you push yourself this hard for another person. You really think so? I suspect you know a thing or two about devotion. You and I are more alike than you, you'd like to admit. You must be joking. What could you make? think that we are at all alike? You'd do anything for Lord Corrin, wouldn't you? Of course, it's an insult to suggest otherwise. Then, just like that, I've shown that we are alike. You and Lord Corrin are exactly like me and Sakura. Hmm. I find it incredibly annoying that there is a truth in the words you speak. Ha, huh, I knew it. That self-satisfied look on your face is bothersome. Return to your training. Oh no, I have to stop verbally spar sparring with you? Say it isn't so. At last, another chance to get some serious training in. I don't see Azama or anyone else around. Just, but just to be safe, I'll work on a different technique today. Let's see how fast can I chop up all these small branches. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ow, 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 ow. Eek. Please uh, tell me that's not a zombie again. So my little pieces of uh, wood embedded. So many little pieces of wood embedded in my face. Oh no, I'm sorry, Azama. I couldn't. I could uh, dodge one large tree, no problem. But this kind of sharp no, a uh, shrap no. Uh huh, Miss Hana. I would should have uh, known you were behind this surprise attack. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me tend your, to tend your wounds. No, I'm fine. But have you considered not training right next to me when I'm meditating? I swear I looked around for you. This is really weird. I don't know. One time it's just unlucky. Two times something more is going on. What are you saying? Why would I ever want to harass you like that? Oh please, we both know that I'm not exactly the most popular fellow in camp. So it's not that far-fetched that someone could be out to get me. So what shall we do about this? I have an idea. Simply invite me along each time, the time you train out here. But that seems like it, it would be placing you closer to, de to the danger. Well, I'd rather be close to the danger, but know it's coming. These surprise attacks are playing havoc with my chanting schedule. Very well, I'll be sure to call you the next, t the next time I come out here to train. I look forward to it. Question for you, Silas. During that last battle, your troop had an enemy unit cornered. One of them saw, saw that all was lost and threw down his weapon, right? Yes, I remember that. Then You then order your troops to change course and attack another front. Right, our efforts would be wasted on the enemy who already, who'd already surrendered. Why do you ask? It never crossed your mind what a triumph it would, would have been to finish the other foe. You'd ra ra racked up the co a considerable count in that battle after all. This would have been an easy way to add to the total. W I would never. He may have been our enemy, but he laid down his, his weapon. He posed no threat. What triumph would there, there have been, been in his death? It's cowardice, pure and simple. Hmm, you're right. I can't believe that I'm hearing what I'm hearing, especially from you, Princess Hinoka. Don't misunderstand me. I wasn't saying that that's what you should have done. And I didn't mean, mean any insult by it, though I'm relieved you reacted the, the way you did. Relieved? Yes, now I know I can count on you if we're fighting side by side. Just like I hope you'll count on me. Yes, of course. Greetings, Lady Hinoka. Ah, Saizo, do you have another letter from, from my brother? Indeed, here it is. Ah, I see. Hmm, understood. Farewell then. Saizo, do you really not care about what the letter was about? Not in the least. I do not presume to make Lord Rayoma's business mine. If I had orders from Lord Rayoma, I would read it. But I don't. I suppose, but you served my brother and the whole royal family for a long time. If it w was me, I'd be miffed at, at not getting to know what these exchanges were about. We see things differently then. Lady Hinoka, the way you talk, sis, seems almost as if you're eager to reveal the letter's contents to me. N no, I'm not. Understood. My apologies. Anyway, I've written up a response. Please see that Rayoma gets it at the spe specified time. I'll ensure that Lord Rayoma gets it, even at the cost of my life. <sighs> Saizo. Satsuna. You look mad. Did someone spoil your breakfast? No, we just had routed up an enemy force and we're headed back to camp. When suddenly there came an arrow at us from behind. We braced for an attack thinking that some of their number had survived. But it was just you again. Yeah, I remember. I sort of had to because I fell into a pit again. But Setsuna, don't you see? You didn't have to do that. A better option would have been to call for help before shooting willy-nilly. I don't know. I didn't want to say anything. I think it's better to say something, though. Imagine the consequences if someone had been hit. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't shooting for real. I don't th think I'm getting through to you, Setsuna. It's a simple solution when you fall into a pit. Just call help. You could do that, can't you? Hehehe. <laughs> why, why are you turning red? I thought you. I could do it. It was an, a nice compliment. Oh dear, I'm starting to worry about you. Are you suffering from a head injury? 
Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. What? I need to get out of here before I start to doubt my own sanity. Aboro, oh, I wanted to apologize for last time. Oh, yeah? I got curious after you left, so I did some digging. It's easy to see, see uh, why you hate Norian so much. Norian Bannis killed your parents, didn't they? Yeah, right in front of me. I'm sorry for touching a sore spot last time. Then I did... Then, I didn't know. That's okay, I'm not mad about it. I fought alongside you long enough by now to know you're alright. I mean, look at me. I'm not making that face right now, am I? Sure enough. Oh, Borrow, having lived in Nor all my life, let me just say one thing on its behalf. Nor ha has its share of heartless villains like the bandits who killed your parents, but there are good people living there too. Many Norians are decent folk, just like the people of Hoshido. Um, sure they are. I grant that it may be hard to accept on its own. I just want you to know. Yeah, fair enough. I'll try to remember. Thanks, Silas. Oh, hi, Jacob. How are things? Silas. Caught up on my some new to a fool's errand of mercy, I trust. H how did you know? It's clear on your face. You have the look of a man acting selflessly. I'm surprised that philosophy hasn't worn you down in the husk of a man by now. Say what you want. I'm no hero. Yet you've never met, met a sob story you won't hear in full. Well, you have me there. The more you listen, the more spellbound you become. Until you're more weighed down on the pro problem than, than its actual sufferer. Am I wrong? N not exactly. Well, this sounds like me, the ver like the very definition of a hero. My condolences. Ugh, he's got me dead to the rights. Lady Sakura, were you tending to the wounded again? Yes, I was. You are a gifted healer with a tender heart, but I know what, what you're about to say. It would be, will, it will be a waste of your skills if, if you wear yourself out and ignore your own health. But, but as a princess, it is my duty to look after our people. My lady, please forgive me for what I am about to say, but you cannot heal everyone no matter how hard you try. Uh, I know. Even if I can't, even if I heal them, I can't save them. I am glad you realize that. The truth is, I'm just selfish. I feel guilty every time I see someone in pain. I pretend that I'm doing all this for the people, but I'm just good, trying to ease my guilt. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I if you'd excuse me, I'd like to be alone. Why, if it isn't Jacob, your timing is impeccable. What can I help you with, Orochi? Nothing much. Simply bored, but I do wonder. Would you mind if I told your fortune, you know, just for fun? A bit of fortune telling. I must admit, I'm damn curious. It will take me only a moment to commute with the future. Mm, ah, done. Well, let's hear it. Come on. I don't have all day, Orochi. I found out that your personality is lacking. My personality is lacking, yes. That's not a fortune. That's just slander and nonsense. <laughs> it has a ring of truth to me. With that, I conclude my communion with, with the higher truths of the future. What would provoke you to pounce upon me like this, Orochi? It's hardly becoming of you. Sakura, want a nap together again? Ah, uh, Kaden, hello. Um, I can't today. Oh, are you busy? I understand. No, that's not it. I just feel well, bad taking a nap while everyone's at war. Ah, I see your point, but I think the war is the very w reason we should nap, huh? When everyone's so worried, they get tired more easily, right? If we don't take some time to relax every once in a while, we won't be able to fight. Oh, you might be right about that. That's why naps are so important. I think everyone should nap together. Everyone... Together, <laughs> it sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? But we can't all be napping at the same time. That's why I was planning to nap just with you. <laughs> okay, so we're still napping, buddies. <laughs> yes, that's right. So we meet again, Lady Sakura. Azama, I wanted to say, you know, I don't really think I ought to speak with you today. I find myself becoming frustrated with the way you squander your privilege. So I'll be on my way. Cheers. Um, wait, yes? Could you please not say those kinds of things to me? What kinds of things precisely, my dear? I'm tired of the way you treat me. Just because I don't act how you did, think a princess should. Oh, ho, there's some, some of that princess-like attitude you've been missing. 
You were born under a lucky star, you know, might as well take advantage. But that's just not right. And here we are again. How depressing. Being humble and meek all the time isn't getting you anywhere, my dear. I, I think, think I've had enough. Why don't you just shut up? You you just snap that snap in two of your bare hands. That's what I like to see. Stand up for yourself. Whatever. I don't care what you think. I'm out here, Azama. Amazing. I just knew she had pot potential. It's so hard to say goodbye sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. But our kitty friend was all healed up. You know, we couldn't take him in, with, with us. The army's no place for a kitty. I know, I know. I suppose I should just be glad we found him a good home. Yeah, it was a nice while it lasted, though. I guess that's that. Not quite. There's one more thing I wanted to know. Huh? Do you remember the other day when I was petting him and you got really quiet? What happened then? It's been eating me at... It's been eating at me ever since. What? No, no, I don't remember that at all. How weird. Did something happen? Don't play dumb with me. You were acting strange and you know it. Okay, okay. Well, the truth is, I was jealous. You were jealous of, of what? Of the kitty. You were, so compl you were complimenting his fur and petting him so much, it made me feel bad. What? I mean, I spent so much time grooming every day, but you never complimented me. But I couldn't say anything while he was right there looking all adorable and stuff. It was just so... It would have just felt petty. So I sulked instead. You mean... <laughs> Ugh, you're terrible, Felicia. I bear, bear my soul to you and you just laugh. Uh, I'm sorry, I just didn't expect that... To be why you look so upset. <laughs> You're adorable, Kaden. Come on, don't call me that. You make it sound like I'm, bit, I'm a big baby. If you're going to compliment me, you should call, call me rugged or handsome or something. Ah, and now your tail is wagging. <laughs> you couldn't be cuter, could you? I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess a compliment's a compliment. Okay, go on, then praise me more, more. Let's see, what else do I got? Yeah, I'll be going on long enough, so... I'll get, get back to you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.